chilling new video of that terrifying scene of the deadly mass shooting in Tribuco Canyon. Body cam video shows what deputies encountered as they responded to Cook's Corner last August and engaged with the gunman. And we warn you, this video could be disturbing to some. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica DeNova is live in Orange with the details. Jessica? Absolutely right. It's not easy video to watch over and over, but in it we do see the confusion and adrenaline that often comes in situations like these with deputies working to find out who's a shooter, who's a victim and fast all while bullets are flying in their direction. Great pick up with the door open. Body camera video released by the Orange County Sheriff's Department shows deputies responding to the mass shooting at Cook's Corner in Tribuco Canyon this past August. He, he was he did come in one side of the bar, started shooting at the band, starting to shoot at the bar. He had struck, struck two or three people. This caller, one of several, reporting an active shooter. Investigators say that man is John Snowling, seen here in security video from the restaurant and bar. The retired Ventura police sergeant is accused of opening fire inside as patrons enjoyed spaghetti night, injuring six people, including his estranged wife. Her dining companion is among the three victims killed. The investigation reveals within two minutes of the initial 911 call, deputies arrived to find Snowling armed in the parking lot engaging them in a shootout. According to the OC Sheriff, Snowling legally purchased the shotgun and three firearms found in his possession. He's reloading, reloading behind the tree, behind the tree, big tree. Several times, deputies ask the shooter to drop his gun. Drop the fucking gun! Eleven and a half minutes after deputies report arriving on scene, they declare the gunman down. This guy right here, this is gunman right here, this is gunman. Snowling was declared deceased on scene, and that video also shows just how dangerously close the gunfire came to deputies with at least one of their windshields struck and shattered. Reporting live in Orange, Jessica Denova, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Jessica, thank you.